What's up everybody? Welcome back to Ian's Life. We're back on the rock hopper for another day. Today, we're gonna finish up the rear bulkhead to get that secured in, get the top half in, so we can move on to securing the birdcage structure. Let me show you what we're up to. I have another set of plans out here. This will look familiar to those of you who saw the last video. That set showed, in fact, I've got them right here. Last time, we built this rear bulkhead. This is the lower section here. Now we've got to do the upper section, and just like the last one, it's easier for us to go ahead and do this on the bench. Let's show you how that's going to look out on the airplane. Now we've got this chunk of the rear bulkhead in place already. We saw that last time. Uh, hold on, let me get my focus right for you guys here. There we go. So. We've got our rear bulkhead right here in place. We've got to put our upper section up here going over in place. So we're going to go ahead and build that. And in the meantime, while I'm building that, my father is going to get to work getting the rest of the truss structure and its connecting points in place so that this guy's nice and secure. We put our top section in and then we can finally get to doing attachments up to the bird cage and down to the back. So this will look familiar to you if you watched the last episode and saw me building the bulkhead. We've gone ahead and dropped the bar onto the table here. We've got a couple of blocks and this top guy, which is going to align our top bar. I've drawn the original sketch on here before that. That gives me a place to put all of this. Now I'm gonna start cutting tubing. We'll start with the outer frame, which is gonna be three pieces this time, up, over, and back down again, plus these two little sports right here. So I'm gonna get some steel in there, start mitering all of that, and get it uh, at least tack welded up before we put on the airplane. And that's the upper portion of our structure completed. I've already done most of the welding on this. There's a little bit left to do in the corners, which as usual, I've left that undone because it has to be ground back out anyway for the long runs to go through. And these are already cut to shape, so we should be able to drop this guy right in place on the airplane.
and that's our former in place. It's only tack welded for right now in the center here, but we'll go ahead and finish that a little later. Yes, this will give you a really good idea of what I've been talking about this whole time if you've had a hard time visualizing it. Now we've got this truss coming back here. We've got a brace that's coming up and holding this guy right here. Of course, this is here, replacing the original one right here. So we're going to be sitting the whole way back up against this, giving us more room, getting that CG where we want it. Now there is still some more work that we have to do here. We need to put the metal that's going to go from back here up to this and up to the birdcage structure. And we have to do that before we can cut this center section out, which you'll notice is still in the middle of everything. The reason for that is if we were to cut this out right now, the only piece that would be left holding the fuselage together would be this bottom long run, and the entire fuselage would turn into a banana. That's no good, so we've left it for now. We'll get those pieces in here, and then, finally, we can take out the center section and get a look at what this thing's going to look like when it's all said and done. So with our aft former in place right here, the next thing we've got to do is get our connecting tubes in. To do that, the first thing we're going to do is cut some notches in these tubes on both ends so that this guy, when it comes through here, has a place to fall. Then we're going to slit and bend some tube to just the right angle to match it. And that is the first upper section done right here. We finally connected the birdcage structure back to our former, back to the fuselage back here. Wow, that's warm. Uh, we still have a little bit of work to do in this section right here. This stuff's in the way, so we're going to have to remove that before we can get to that. But we have supported the bulkhead down here and the top section up here. I'm really happy with this. We finally have established our entire rear door frame. Like I said, there's a little more work to do in the back, and there's the far side that we still have to do. But for the first time, we can really look at this and see the shape of the airplane coming together.
we go. And the cripple is out. It's starting to look like an airplane. Yeah, I can't wait to cut the back stuff out of there. Yeah, that's that's really going to clean it up. That's going to be great when we get rid of this stuff. Yeah. This is the first look at the airplane in metal. I've been looking at this on computer for months now, but this is your first time and my first time really being able to see it without all the mess of the original tubes in here. I'm really happy. This looks incredibly normal, which that's great. It gives me a little inkling that maybe just maybe I did this design thing okay and this is all gonna work out. Silly as it sounds, you can stare at it forever on a computer, but seeing it in person, makes it all very real. We've got a lot more to do. Still some tubes back here now that this is out of the way. More work on the truss up here and the whole motor box in the front. But that's all for another day. I'm going to wrap things for this episode here. So until next time, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.